welcome back um yeah i made a harry potter christmas tree as you guys can see it actually turned out super cool guys these ornaments are awesome now i'm just gonna kind of go very randomly with these ornaments now some of them i did make my own plus that hat you will see at the at the ending how i made that hat and most of these um, ornaments actually came from Kristen Cavett, if I'm saying that right, on YouTube. She is amazing. She's pretty, she's pretty up there in the YouTube world. Um, yeah, I just printed out some of her, um, printables and I put a lot of things together. So some of these ornaments are absolutely beautiful. So let's just get right to it. All right, so first we're going to start out with is this um, Christmas skirt. So what I did was I just went to Joann's. I had a coupon, and they sell Harry Potter fabric. So I decided to get a yard of fabric. That was it. I put it around the, the tree. Now, this is a four-foot tree, and it actually fits perfect. I mean, I didn't really, like, cut it or sew it or anything. I just put it around, and it actually works pretty, pretty good. So... Yeah, and I'm going to just tell you how I made these and how it didn't even cost me a lot. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how I made this awesome hat for $1. Yes, guys, this hat only cost me $1. So stay tuned to that. So let's get started. Okay, guys, so these are the little books I made. Now, before I get started, and she does all DIYs and stuff like that. So, um, she has three videos that are, um, for Harry Potter ornaments and all you have to do is link below and, um, there's all those printables for you. So I printed out, there's actually way more than what you're going to see here. Um, but I only did for, I only did a couple for my son cause he's only seven and he only knows certain ones. I mean, we're only into, um, book or movie number five so um but if you guys are a big harry potter fans i'm telling you you need to you know definitely make these they're super cute but anyway i did a couple like little things that are a little bit different than she did so these are the little books um and they're all like little different sizes and what i did was i took foam okay and i just kind of cut the foam folded it hot glued it and put that cover right on there and always put a string right in there so these are like the little books so they look like this um if i had like other things she actually used like little mini um canvases i didn't have those on hand i just had the foam and i just kind of did like little things like this as well too so you know you have like the actual harry potter book you have this one's the book too and then you have these little cute books I love these so look at that how cute potion and I like how they're all different sizes guys all different sizes and there's a bunch more I'm telling you I even have all the printables so when he gets into it even more you know he's gonna have that okay guys so I loved these these this one is the chocolate frog now this was kind of like a pain in the butt to put together but you know definitely watch her you definitely have to watch her so if you guys can see that focus <laughs> i thought that was really pretty and then here is the like beans that you get on that train how cute she did a little bit um a little bit differently than i did and then, as you guys can see, those those are the um, newspaper articles. She had a lot more, guys, but I only did these three for my son. And I, I put them on foam, okay? She put them on um, the foam board at Dollar Tree, but I didn't have that. But I had foam. So, you know, definitely put foam or anything that's a little bit thicker on there so it can definitely last. And then right here, guys, is 
like the ghost. So you have a headless Nick on there. So I did that. And then I put that on foam as well. Um, I think she did something a little bit differently with this. And then, of course, guys, the map. How cool is that, right? Super, super cool. I love that. Um, this wasn't a pain, but it's a little time consuming. So I thought that was really pretty cute. Look at, and they even have the back side to that. So yeah, so that's that one. Okay, so these were super cute as well. So on her um, page, um, there's these cutouts. Now this was time consuming cutting them all out. It kind of was a pain in the butt. But you know, definitely take your time, that type of thing. And these brooms are actually from Dollar Tree from Halloween. So all I did was cut them to size and put a little string on there and called it a day. So, yeah, I thought that was really, really cool. And, you know, my son loved it. He loved it. So <laughs> those little things. But I thought this was really cool as well. Okay, so then I got these, like, keys that I actually had in my stash. But you can get keys like this anywhere for, like, a dollar. You get, like, probably six of them for a dollar. So I just took that translucent paper. And you can get it at any craft store. And um, I just kind of cut it to size and traced it and then put those little, that's in pencil. So I put all those like little lines in there and then just hot glued it on the back, guys. Right? So, and then just put a couple like little strings on there. And then this one, this one's probably one of my favorites. This one was um, probably, you know, it. It's easy, but it was time consuming. You're going to take these little glass bottles from the Dollar Tree. You're going to get two packs of those. You're going to glue them together. But then just remember, put the beads in first and then glue glue right in there, as you guys can see, so it can stop. And then glue them together. Put some twine on it. And those are dowels I painted. And those are popsicle sticks that I cut. And those are beads on top. That's it. So it looks like, you know... You know, it's like a scoreboard or I forget what they call it. But I love doing this. It was super cute. And it only cost me $2 because I had everything. I had these beads. I had these beads. I had dowels. You know, just look look around and see what you have, you know, before you go out and spend money. Okay, guys. So I did these myself. So I just Googled Harry Potter car. That's exactly what I Googled, and it was a template. And I just cut it to size, and I just hot glued it all around and, you know, kind of put it together. And then put that little string up there, and I got this image off Google as well, too. And I just kind of cut it to size, and I thought that was really cute, you know. And then I made a howler. Now... People have been making howler cards for a while. So I decided to make a howler ornament. So you just take scrapbook paper, red, white, as you guys can see that. Cut that into teeth. Place it up there. Make a triangle. Super easy, guys. And then just Google this. The Ronald Weasley howler. And it came right up, guys. Right up on Google. I just printed it out. Cut it to size. And then just glued a like a big long ribbon. This came out really cool. I love that. I absolutely love that. Aiden liked it too. He thought it was super cool. But this one, you definitely have to take your time cutting it all out as well. But this came out really cool. Next, I made some potion bottles. Now, you can get these bottles at Dollar Tree, like I always say. Um, I think you get like six of them for a dollar. Now, I chose the really small ones. And then I got some glitter glue. Now, you can get glitter glue at Dollar Tree. And you can get like four or five different colors for one dollar. Um, I actually already had it in my stash. So, this only cost me one dollar. And I just, you know, squeeze them in there. Put the cork on. Put a little string on. And you have cute little potion bottles. Now, if you really wanted to go a little bit more into it, you can write each potion you know, on the bottles. How cute would that be? 
So these are super cute as well. All right, guys. So then I made these. Now, um, these ornaments, you get two of them for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Or you can do the bigger ones or just for a dollar. But I decided to do the smaller ones because Aiden just has a four-foot tree. But you guys, I took these logos. I Maj Paj these. I Googled them, cut them, Maj Paj them. Okay, on these. And then I just filled them with ribbon. So here is Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, Slytherin, and Ravenclaw. So these actually turned out really cute. Um, I got all the ribbon at Dollar Tree. So definitely don't spend more than a dollar. But, you know, I did like green and black ribbon in here. Gryffindor is gold and red. Um, Hufflepuff, I did black and gold. And Ravenclaw, I did blue and silver. Okay, guys. So the last thing I'm going to show you is these glitter ornaments. Now I made these glitter ornaments out of epoxy acrylic um, with the glitter. Now there's YouTubers that um, do that. Um, so you can always look that up. Um, I was super messy with these, um, but they did come out. I did a bunch of them. So it actually came out pretty good with the glitter and the epoxy and all that. But anyway, I decided to go on my Cricut and, you know, print out some of these like little stickers to put on the on the ornament so I have nine and three quarters Harry Potter you have the glasses with the scar this one is a free Dobie I had to put I had to get a Dobie one I had to I think that's my son's favorite and then of course the golden stitch so this one I just took the translucent paper and I did the lines on the back. You guys can see that. I just cut it to size basically. I just like looked it up on Google and I just took a template and I'm like, okay. So I just free drew it and cut it out and there it is. So yeah, and you definitely want to do the translucent paper because it really makes it. Um, if you guys do not have a Cricut, okay, because these actually turn out really, really cute. Um, you guys can do sticker letters, sticker numbers, that kind of thing. Or you can Google it, cut it, mosh posh it, okay? Or if you really want, like, something like Doby and you really want it to look exactly like this, take your scissors and cut around it and then just mosh posh it, that type of thing. But these came out really cool, I think. So, yeah. How cute was that? Okay, guys, so all you need is a witch hat. You could probably get it, like, dirt cheap on clearance, Salvation Army, thrift stores. They always have stuff like this. You can get them at Dollar Tree at the, you know, Halloween um, stuff, um, that kind of thing. But you're going to start with a witch hat. If you guys don't have a witch hat, you can always, like, make one, okay? Um, and then what you're going to do is is you're going to paper mache this. So what I would like to do is I'm going to stuff this with newspaper and then you're going to take just newspaper. Okay guys, so what you're going to end up is something like this. You're going to make the top look like this, um, a little bit more on the pointed side. Um, make it, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's the nice thing about paper mache. It, you can, you know, push it in, um, make it more wrinkly. That's what you kind of want. Um, this hat is not perfect, which is great. Um, so I did that with two cups and a flour and two cups of water. And I put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. And that was my paper mache glue. And I just shredded up newspaper and I just put it on the hat. Now I did about like four layers on this. And I actually waited two days for this to dry. Two days, yes. Um, most of paper mache gives about 24 hours to dry. I would give it two days because I really want it to be super stiff and super wrinkly. I'm just trying to make it look like very old, that type of thing. All right. Okay, so now I have to try to make the face. Now I did push some of the, um, you know, some of the paper right in to kind of indent that for the two eyes. And I just took a Sharpie and I kind of like eyeballed it and what I wanted the eyes to make and what I wanted the uh, mouth to make. Then I just put hot glue. I put about two to three layers of hot glue on that, which it actually came out pretty good. 
Um, I mean, you can even do more if you wanted to, but I just want to keep it simple. And then all you have to do is paint it. Yes, guys, that's it. So now we're just going to go do the painting. Okay, guys, so here is the finished product. So like I said, is you can pick out whatever brown paint you wanted. I just kind of took um, whatever I had in my craft area, and this is the brown that I had, and it actually worked pretty good. Um, the brown was a little bit too light, so I mix it up with black just to give it like more of that muddy um, color. And anyway, two coats later, it actually turned out pretty good. You could do three coats, but as you guys can see that, I really wanted to make it look very weathered. Very weathered. I don't want it to look very perfect as well too. So, and then I painted the inside of his eyes black and his mouth black. And I thought it actually turned out pretty good um, for $1.00. You know, I got this witch hat at the Dollar Tree. So, for $1, guys, you can't go wrong with something like this, okay? So, yeah, it actually turned out really, really good. So, if you guys like these little tutorials, give me that thumbs up. And if you didn't subscribe, you can always subscribe. And we'll see you next one. Bye, guys. Take care. Ooh.